think about the people that are going to come through the virus, right? Uh, George Dan's here. There, there's going to be two kinds of people. And and before I, I tell you what this uh, catalyst is, I, I want you to think about this. Think about what the virus did to people, right? People lost their jobs. They lost their homes. They lost their cars. Uh, some people lost loved ones. Uh, some people lost money. If you're a business, you lost tons of business, probably some market share, cu some customers. So at some point, uh, things got to turn around and the virus is going to die. And when, when you come out of this, there's going to be two kinds of people that come out of this. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now. There's got to be uh, something that's going to motivate. It's going to inspire you. It's going to fire you up. It's going to help you get through recovery. You're going to gain back what you lost. Think about all the goals that you set, the dreams you had, all the things that you wanted that were put on hold because the virus was here, right? And, and then there's the other side of the people that are going to complain and whine and let the virus affect them or infect them for the next. 10 or 15 years they'll be talking about it at every party they'll be talking at uh, thanksgiving they'll be talking about it at christmas they'll just they'll just believe that the virus destroyed them well uh, maybe it did temporarily but you know what you're allowed to come back and and life does allow setbacks but it also allows comebacks and if you're going to come back there's got to be something that's going to fire you up something that's going to motivate you what is it well right now your brain your mind might be broken so now you need to fix it and the easiest way to fix your brain and your mind is to bring something new in change starts with your language listen to me change starts with your language and that's why i came up with the i can speech think about this if you said i can to every situation everything that's going on in your life everything that's going in on in your business right when you when you come back to business, if you could get all your employees, let's say you had 300 employees, and what if every single employee said, I can, instead of, I can't. And those are the two kinds of people that are coming out of the virus. One side is gonna be the I cans, and the other is gonna be the I can'ts. The I cans are dreaming again. The I cans use imagination, which is the frontier of knowledge and tomorrow. See, what I love about the imagination, there's no borders, there's no guidelines. But if we go back and use our memory, oh boy, yeah, we already tried that, that didn't work. And there's some people that will be living within the History Channel for the rest of their life. We need to cancel that channel. I want you to think right now, I can do this, I can make it. It's gonna happen. I'm up here in Big Bear, uh, California, just to let you know. Everything's in quarantine. Uh, office is all locked up. There's snow behind me. It's probably 75 degrees, or it's maybe uh, uh, 20 Celsius right now. I am fired up, pumped up, motivated, and inspired, and I've wrote the greatest speech of my life, which is called I Can. And I'm gonna bring it across Canada, United States, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Australia, everywhere that I can share this message, I'm gonna share it. Because the difference between I Can and I Can't is one letter. It's one letter. Imagine every situation that you go through for the rest of your life, you're saying I can. And I'll tell you this right now. I, I am so sold on this. Throw me into finance. I'll buy the extended service agreement and warranty on this one. And I'll tell you that right now. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll take it. I don't care how much it is because I can say I can. You can say I can because you can make choices. If you're the leader, you know, people used to say, well, you know, the speed of the engine is uh, by the speed of the conductor. You better throw that one into the penalty box. It doesn't work right now because every single person was affected or infected and like i said some are going to get through it and some are going to talk about it and let it ruin them for the rest of their life so what i want you to think about is can you become an i can uh, um an i can company an i can person this is all i want you to do for the next 24 hours I want you to say I can as many times as you can. Every situation, the moment you wake up in the morning, I can get out of bed. The moment you gotta go brush your teeth, I can go brush my teeth. The moment you're gonna go eat, I can go eat. The moment you can get in your car, I can go get my car. There are so many I cans that you could do during the day. And what's going to happen is your enthusiasm is going to go like sky high. I, it, it'd almost be like you're on two energy drinks. People are going to think, what is up with this person? Because energy and attitude is contagious. Now, if you're an I can person, uh, you're probably drowning in misery. You're complaining. Uh, you're whining. Remember the word blame? Be lame. Forget it. Now, there's one more thing I want to talk about that really can make a difference in your company. And that's my wit program wit wit is whatever it takes whatever it takes let's get it done now if you've been shut down for a month or two you've lost business you've lost revenue you lost profits you probably even lost some people but when you come back 
Imagine this, having the wit attitude. Where you, where you stand in front of all your employees and you say, everybody, we're a wit organization. Boss, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean, wit? Whatever it takes, we're going to get it done. Because you're going to set new goals. And you're going to set those goals based on imagination, not memory. Because the most important place to live in your life is right here. It's right now, which means no opportunity wasted. And the easiest way, the best way, the most effective way is start by saying I can. See, most of the time, our head's broke. Our brain's broke. And what I, what I, what I want to do is I want to give you a new perspective. I don't want to set you up for defeat. But even if you get obstacles that come your way, can you imagine saying I can instead of I can't? And then, listen, if you're into hockey, you understand this. Wit is whatever it takes, you'll chase that guy down that has the puck. If it's your last breath, you'll catch him. You'll catch him. You'll do everything you can to stop that person. You might not have enough oxygen left in the legs, not enough oxygen left in the heart, but your drive, your determination, your faith, and your effort, and your I can step into gear, and away you go. I'm George. I can't wait to see you guys 